Okay, um, it's called The Message of Salvation. This is Gospel Sunday, Part 2. For Moses describeth the righteousness which is of the law, that the man which doeth those things shall live by them. But the righteousness which is of faith speaketh on this wise. Say not in thine heart, who shall ascend into heaven, that is to bring Christ down from above, or who shall descend into the deep, that is to bring up Christ again from the dead. But what saith it, the word is nigh thee, even in thy mouth and in thy heart, that is the word of faith, which we preach that if thou shalt confess with thou, thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shall believe in thine heart that God raised that God hath raised him from the dead thou shalt be saved for with the heart man believeth unto righteousness and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation for the scripture saith, whatsoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. I mean, whosoever shall believeth on him shall not be ashamed. For there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek and the gent. It says uh, the Jew and the Greek for the same Lord is um, for the same Lord over all is rich unto all that call upon him for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. So he's saying anybody can be saved. You just have to call upon the name of the Lord. It doesn't matter if you're Greek or Jew or Gentile or anything. Um, how then shall they call on him in whom they, this is your homework guys, in whom they have believed and how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? And how shall they preach except they be sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. But they have not all obeyed the gospel for Isaias, 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 or I can't remember, saith, saith, Lord, who hath believed our report? So then faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. But I say, I, but I say, have they not heard? Yes, verily, their sound went into all the earth, and their words unto the ends of the world. But I say, did not Israel know? First Moses saith, I will provoke you to jealousy by them that are no people, by them that are no people, and by a foolish nation I will anger you. But Esaias is very bold and said, I was found of them that sought me not, I was made manifest unto them that asked not after me, but to Israel he saith, All day long I have stretched forth my hands unto a disobedient and gainsaying people. Gainsaying people. Okay. So that was your homework to read the message of salvation to all. And it's saying, like, basically... Anyone can get saved as long as you confess that Jesus is Lord. And if you believe that he died on the cross for you, you can have the free gift of eternal life. So, and then it goes on to say other things in here, talking about, but is but to Israel he saith, all day long I have stretched forth my hands unto a disobedient and gain saying people. Hmm.
gainsaying. So it's just saying like, you know, he's he's been out stretching his hands for people and they're just like, you know, they're disobedient. So if you guys want to read that, um, I would try to break it down, but um, I think that everybody gets different things out of it. So I don't want to say anything that I don't understand. If I don't understand the word, I'm not going to. You know, I like to break down the Bible, but at the same time, you know, I don't want to say anything that I'm not sure about. So um, we could probably talk about this next discussion, but this one is a good one to read because it's just giving you hope that anybody can get saved, you know. And so there's the other... Yeah, so, um, it's a good scripture. So that's your homework. It's going to be Romans 9.31, and then it's down on verse 5 that says the message of salvation to all. So I hope that that encouraged you, that anybody could be saved. It doesn't matter if you're a Jew or a Gentile or a Greek. You can still be saved because that's why he died. He died on the cross for everybody. It's just that everybody doesn't, it's kind of like, you know, not everyone is going to be saved. I mean, be, I mean, everybody can be saved, but not everybody wants to um, follow Jesus, like to follow in surrendering your life to him. And that's all you have to do to become saved is just give your life to him and let him let him guide you and try to stay free from worldly stuff and temptations. Like just keep walking with God and like, we're going to, we're going to, you know, we're going to stumble in little areas as long as we don't stumble in big areas. Cause then we're going to have a bigger consequence because it says you will reap what you sow. And if you sow of the flesh, you're going to reap of the flesh corruption. And if you sow to the spirit, you're going to reap of the spirit, eternal life. So, you're going in the right direction when you're sowing to the spirit, which is just asking God to dwell inside of you and staying focused on God and going to church and praying. And, you know, we're going to have tribulations in this life. You know, we don't, we don't know what they're going to be. Like you come into like certain little areas of your life where, you know, there's going to be some tribulations. So, you just have to stay strong and just know that God will deliver you out of them all. Because, you know, I've had setbacks in my walk with God, like temptations, tribulations, some storms, you know, some, you know, downfalls in my life. You know, so it's just like you're, you're going to face that as a Christian. It's not going to be an easy road. So and he wants to teach you how to be stronger and how to fight the spiritual warfare with your Bible. You can fight the spiritual warfare. You just have to read scriptures and pray. And, um, it says pray without ceasing. So every chance you get, just pray. I, I'll be at work sometimes, or I'll be um, working out. I used to work out and just say prayers in my head. Or if I would get like a jealous vibe of something, I would pray the our father who art in heaven prayer and that feeling would go away because the spirit of jealousy is like the enemy. He's trying to like put all this stuff in your head. And, you know, you just have to rebuke it. You have to like pray against those bad spirits that come at you, you know. So um, thank you for joining. And that was your homework. And I hope you guys enjoyed Gospel Sunday tonight. And we'll try to bring singing bloopers back. It's just, there was the last singing bloopers I did, and my voice was really screwed up, like really bad. And it's like, ugh. normally I can carry a tune, but on that one, it was just like a lot was going on and stuff. A lot of stuff was going on. And I need to get another phone so I can, or a computer, because my laptop broke. I got it wet when I was sitting outside my daughter's house one day. Uh, I got locked out or something. Uh, she just told me to hang out until they got back. They w they went somewhere and then it started raining a little bit. And then my computer got wet and broke my computer. So, yeah, I've been having like 
pains in my feet just from my dad told me it was from not having my breathing machine so he said he'll take me to this one doctor and see if I can get another exam and get the machine because I need that machine <laughs> it's like that's you know when I go to sleep I have to wear it and it's unfortunate you know that I'm disabled but you know I just like, have to elevate my feet like to get the blood circulating or something but you know it's also getting older you know when you get older you get you have other you know other issues but I don't really have any health issues other than that the sleep apnea thing that I have to sleep with the breathing machine and sometimes when I take a nap I don't like sleeping with it I I only sleep with it at night but you're supposed to sleep with it whenever you go to sleep but how do you take a nap with that thing on you like if I'm real tired I fall asleep with it you know at night but to go to sleep with it as a nap I probably wouldn't be able to I've never been able to <laughs> 